say it's been an honour to serve as the Chief of Defence Force, but I must also say that it's been four years that have gone very, very quickly. Back then I said that commanding the ADF was no light undertaking, and I can attest to that. Not one day has gone by without a new challenge. Not one day has gone by, more importantly, where the ADF has not made a new achievement. And I've got to tell you, it's those achievements that have made the last four years very, very special. I'd like to extend my congratulations and best wishes to General Angus Campbell and his wife Stephanie and to the new ADF leadership team. We are in a time of significant change and in a time of significant challenge and I know you are very well placed to be able to lead the ADF over the coming years. So with that, it's now the time to get on my bike, quite literally. To everyone that I've crossed paths with over the many, many years I've been in defence, both in and out of uniform, in and out of defence, and all the departments that are around Canberra. Thank you very much from the bottom of my heart for your support. It's been a great ride, and I have to tell you it's been a privilege. Thank you very much. I am extraordinarily honoured and privileged, and I thank the Minister and the Government for extending their trust in appointing me as the next Chief of Defence Force. This is a great organisation filled with people who every day do extraordinary things in the defence of our nation and its interests. Australia's Federation Guard, General Salute, of... Air Chief Marshal Binskin has been the consummate professional. His leadership of this organisation has been distinguished. Ever diligent, committed, compassionate, decent and focused on our people, determined to build through those people the teams that make the organisation great. We owe him a great debt of gratitude and I'm deeply appreciative that the handing over of command responsibility to me is indeed handing over an Australian Defence Force in extraordinarily good shape going in the right direction and doing things our nation can be proud of.